Okay, guys, there is spoilers, so, yeah. So I think I have figured out what the Fortnite event is all about by piecing together different teasers and leaks. Everything that's happening in the Fortnite event, let me just recap real quick. So basically, we have the Mecha Team Leader, that's an official an announcement, and we have the Doomsday Device, obviously another official thing. But we also have this leak of a, like, IO plans, where the Doomsday Device explodes, and then we have this second leak with, uh, like, a picture of the map. There's this, uh, quest line official quest line. If we live through this, let's just leave the part where we lose the giant enemy fortress out of the history books. With all this information, we can put together that basically during the event, there's the robot that comes down and then the fortress goes down underground to hide. There's a huge fight or whatever, but seven fail because it explodes and we get a bird's eye view of it exploding with the leaked picture or whatever. And then we'll be on the moon for a little bit and then we're gonna come back down from the moon and re-inhibit the planet. So basically, season three, my prediction, it's an apocalypse season. So that brings me to what kind of weapons we're gonna have. They're gonna be based, obviously based on what kind of season we have. These are the weapons we're gonna keep, we're gonna get. We're gonna get these makeshift weapons because you know, it's apocalypse and you know, the edge of just fits. Even though these are supposed to be caveman weapons, I think it makes a lot of sense. This is a possibility to replace the airstrike we have, but eh, probably not. This is most likely, likely gonna stay. This, it's just like the tires, it's probably gonna stay for quite a while now that we have zero build. And then these are the things that are probably gonna be gone if we lose the tanks and battle buses because these were anti-vehicle weapons. They did a lot of damage to the tanks and the battle bus. But I could still see some of them leaving even if tank stays. And these are the things are that are most likely gone. These three right here are the weapons that were voted in and based on like previous behavior that Fortnite's had with voted in weapons, these are out of the loot pool, most likely. Except for this one. This one has a slight chance of staying because how much the community likes it. So I'd, I'd put it somewhere right over like in between or something, I don't know. And then these two, this one, Obviously, this one came just to fit in with the war theme we have, and this one was in the blimps, and since there's only one blimp left, uh, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be gone next season, we're gonna lose this as well. And then, very last thing, new locations. I usually don't do this with my loot pool stuff, but this is, this is like, duh, you know? Like, before Covert Cavern was added to the game, in the files it was deemed Covert Canyon. My theory is that they'll still use this name when the bomb goes off and blows off the top of Covert Canyon. And then the fortress, like in the quest line, it's gonna move somewhere. So maybe it just is underground. Maybe it's like half underground or maybe it's somewhere else. Really, we don't know. Not enough information. So yeah, if I'm dead wrong, uh, go ahead and give this video a dislike. <laughs> I, I get some things wrong sometimes, but sometimes I'm like dead on. And if I'm right, come on. Legally, you're required to subscribe.